A new Draconia dev blog was revealed a couple of days ago, or well, actually, it was about a week ago. But sit tight, I've got some new Draconia information that you should know about. Before I get into this video, 65% of you guys watching this video are not subscribed to the channel. So please, help me out. If you enjoy this video, feel free to like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton, and I'm trying to get for 2,000 subscribers before the end of September. Anyways, guys. Let's get right into this dev blog. So this dev blog video is going to be quite short, so I have something special for you guys, especially the community members, in the end of this video. Anyways, let's talk about the customization today. So in the dev blog, the devs also mentioned, I'm going to quickly note upon this, that they were working on some level design, which obviously I can technically show from some screenshots, but this is probably not the level design that they're on about because this is in the tech demo for the game or the demo that's available to super testers and people who had early access packages bought for the game. And that was for people who donated at $20 or 20 euros or 20 pounds and above. Anyways, these screenshots are pretty nice and it shows you a glimpse of what you can get in the game in the future and what's already in the game at the moment in the tester phase. Now I'm pretty sure this is not what they're on about but you know I just wanted an excuse to show these screenshots. Anyways now that that's out the way now let's get straight into the part we've all been waiting for the last minute and 10 seconds or so or 50 seconds I don't know I don't know how long this video is going to be but the dragon customization. Now, I just want to know, all of these features are not fully finished, so don't expect them to look like this in the final form or be like this in the final form. Of course, they've got to go through community feedback as well, as well as some other alterations that the developers are working on. Anyways, let's get right into it. So here we have it, the character customization screen for Draconia. So firstly, you can name your character. You can name this character that you're customizing in the game. And on the right of the screen, you can change the character's design. On the right, you can also customize the head, body, and tail of the dragon that you are playing as. And you can also change what dragon you are customizing as well. On the left of the screen, we can see there is a change pose for the dragon. This means you can see it in walking or flying poses, I'm pretty sure and maybe some other one. And on the bottom right, there is some icons to do with wings, horns, and I'm pretty sure it's the face of the dragon. I'm not too sure. I can't really see it. Now, I don't know what these are. These could be just for aesthetics, or they could be for something else. You might have to click them to be able to put on horns for your dragon or look through the horns that you have for the dragon that you are playing as. Essentially, the devs didn't just want you to have pre-made skins. They wanted you to kind of expand upon it yourself and make your own customizable skins for the game. Characters will have pre-made skins on them but of course you can change the colorations and the patterns on them and mix and match to your own liking and what makes this even better is that you're not just locked to a certain amount of colors you can use any color you want from the whole color wheel i feel like that's a great idea you're not restricting the players in there what they want to do so if you really want you can have a pretty pink dragon there are no limits to color selection as the dev said but they also don't want players who don't like this variation in color to be left out because they said in your private servers you'll be able to turn on and off the use of brightly colors in the colored wheel meaning you can only have dark colored dragons or if you want you can only have a server for pretty pink dragons in other news we have some customization regarding attachments to your dragon attaching horns accessories and more to your dragon it's very easy to do as well as shown in the video that is shown in the dev blog the parts that are currently in the game in the demo that is on the screen now and the footage that is on the screen now is not everything. This is like 2% or 5% of what we're getting in terms of dragon customization in the game. And I cannot wait for more dragon customization. Like this is the tip of the iceberg. There's still a lot that's going to be introduced to the game as well as more backer items and items for other dragons that aren't even in the game yet. To me, dragon customization looks like it's going to be hella fun. And I can't wait for the final state of this game where everyone's rocking around in either their pink dragons. In my opinion, the developers of Draconia have gone above and beyond with the customization for the dragons in the game. And I'm pretty sure this will be enough to please everyone for character customization. The UI is also nice and simple as well, meaning there will be an easy to grasp user experience for everyone. So today's dev blog 
is all about character customization, but because I'm one of the community managers for Draconia, I feel like it's only right that we go over, you know, the, the community update to the game. So let's go over the community devlog because then I can showcase some of the awesome fan art and the awesome stuff that you guys have made for Draconia. And of course, I'm not a developer of the game. I'm just a community manager of the game. And well, I only manage the Discord server. Anyways, this is basically just gonna help me get a full video, isn't it? We, we know how much of a sell out I am. You can rant in the comments below. I know, Leviah, you're watching this. You can you can abuse me in Discord about me being a sellout. So let's take a moment to look at the showcase and showcase some of your artwork. So let's get right into it. Firstly, we have got a European dragon art created by Winter. This one, I'm not gonna lie, is incredible. I wish I could draw like that. In fact, I think I can. Now, you know what, guys? I have created a masterpiece by recreating Winter's artwork. And Winter, if you are watching this video, I just wanna say, I think I've beaten you. I mean, I think, I think I've created the best Draconia artwork there ever is. You know, I was inspired by yours. And well, I think, you know, I've got it spot on. What do you think, guys? I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Next up, we have some awesome dragon people designs made by Niver. And to me, the warrior looks incredible. Other than that, I love them. And I really want these designs to come into the game. And if they can via mods or something like that, Niver, I want to see these. These look incredible and you've put so much detail in them. I really like their gear that they have as well. Next up we have a festive noodle by Seros the Dragon. And this is, well, the Santa we all know and love. The one that we want. I really hope there's an event at Christmas time in Draconia where we have Santa Dragon flying around. Anyways, my favourite fan art so far is by Nyaski. And this is the crystal disease, something that I really want the devs to reveal more about in the game because it looks so good. And I just, I'm really intrigued by it. Other than that, we also have some dragon designs created by Shadowfawn15 for the European dragon and two Wyvern skins made by Naya and Ramsey as well. Anyways, guys, what do you think about this Draconia development video or dev blog video? I know I cover the dev blogs for Draconia and Path of Titans and my own game, Prehistoric Fury. Is there any other games dev blogs you want me to cover? I'm starting to branch into World of Tanks as dev blogs because I already make a lot of World of Tanks content on the channel. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll post the next Draconia update video a bit sooner after it's been released and I was kind of debating whether to do this one because there was so little. But yeah, I feel like I've been able to do it quite well. I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah, feel free to like and subscribe if you are new and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.